Hello, my friends. We are talking about LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens, which is coming to PS4 and PS3 and PS Vita on June 28th. I'm joined by Graham Goring, the lead story designer from TT Games. Hello, Graham. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. One of the pillars that you guys discussed in your demo is authenticity. That's really important to you guys uh, from anything from the scroll and you know the little details in the game. T tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, Star Wars is one of the most beloved, if not the most beloved sort of film franchise in, in the world. And so, and people are obsessive about the details about that. And so and we're obsessive well, because we are massive Star Wars fans. I spend, you know, most of my day on Wikipedia looking up things, fact checking, making sure that I've got everything absolutely right. And then, you know, luckily then we, we, we send my script off to, to, to Lucas and they'll go, no, you need to you need to tweak that. Because everyone wants to make the best and the most authentic and um, the most pleasing and brilliant Star Wars game we can. And I think we've really achieved that with this title. And are you able to implement that same authenticity into like the little you know quirks that you guys put in, the little inside jokes, the nudge nudges throughout the game? Oh yeah, again, I mean that that's something that really comes from going on Wikipedia and just spidering your way through, and you'll discover like little characters you didn't um, know about or little details about their past, and then you can just drop subtle hints to that in in the script um, that people who are really immersed in the lore will pick up. And um, we've just really tried to to layer on the quality and the polish with this title. Beautiful. So this is you guys have been doing the Lego Star Wars series for a long time. I mean yeah. many years. Um, the studio has a rich history with it, but with this game, you guys are trying to add a lot n of new th items and elements to the table. I'm hoping you could tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, the, the big three new things that we've got is that we have multi-builds. Um, previously, when you've been building things in the LEGO games, you pretty much you build one item, but now you can use the same pile of bricks to build multiple items. For instance, uh, sometimes that'll just be like a fun distraction. For instance, you have an enemy you need to get past, you'll build one of two silly things. And so next time you play the game, you'll be able to see a different thing and it just keeps it fresh. So we're using it for uh, many different things, sometimes even to access areas that you wouldn't be able to get to. Mm. So uh, that's the one of them. The other thing, blaster battles are a big new thing um, because, you know, Star Wars is one of those things that's all about action and, and, and uh, scenes like that. And so we really wanted to make it feel like a Star Wars movie, make it feel like you are Han Solo blasting at enemies. So you'll have to get into cover and you'll have to shoot at enemies and sometimes you know you can shoot explosives and things like that to knock them out. And the enemies themselves now, another thing we do is we have the AI enemies building things. So you might have one run on and start building a turret so you have to take him out fast. Um, and the other thing we're doing is, um, is our flight levels. We've massively uh, increase the quality there. Um, they used to be they sort of a, a little bit sort of 2D. Uh, I think they've been quite like Defender in some of the uh, recent games. But this one, we have these really, uh, really sort of anarchic, sort of action-packed, explosion-filled rail bits. And then we have these open arenas where you'll have full control over you know a number of ships, and you'll have different objectives. Might be defending like a transporter. It might be shooting a certain number of Tie fighters. Uh, all kinds of things. I'm pretty sure when we spoke too, you mentioned that there's like four bajillion vehicles in this game. I mean, you guys put a lot of effort into giving players a diverse lineup of, you know, items, vehicles, collectibles. I mean, tell us a little bit about those. Yeah, well, I mean, we've got over, let's say, I think it's over 200 characters. And the thing about Star Wars is that, you know, you don't see a more diverse range of characters, which is really wonderful. Uh, and our character customizer is even better this time, because not only can you swap what the characters look like, you can give them a different weapon or change what their combat style is, uh, which is a really cool feature. Yeah, we've got about 40 different vehicles, which includes creatures like your, your lugger beast or it might be just a little mouse droid that you use like a skateboard. Um, and then you've got your full-size ships like the Millennium Falcon, etc. But you also have these adorable little ones called microfighters, where it's like, imagine the Millennium Falcon built out of 12 Lego bricks. And it's just, it's amazing how perfectly expressed it is in just that tiny amount of bricks. And you're sat on top of it and just racing around and it just looks really daft and it's wonderful. Um, and I think, if I may, there's a couple uh, little PlayStation treats, a little couple treats for the PlayStation audience. That's that's true. Um, uh, well, because one of the things we are not only telling the uh, the for story of the Force Awakens, we have these uh, additional levels that tell the story coming up to it. And one of the exclusive ones is that you may have noticed in the film that uh, C-3PO has a new red arm that he's uh, moaning about all the time. And so one of the PlayStation exclusive levels is uh, you'll find out how he got that arm. And we also have a, an actual pack of playable droids as well. I believe is exclusive to PlayStation. Graham, thank you so much for joining. Us. Tell us when people can get started with LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens. Uh, June 28th on PS4, PS3 and PS Vita. Thank you, man. Thank you.